Hello everyone, today we're going to have the SAS similarity theorem. There are still other theorems, I will put those um, uh, videos on the description box below. Um, let's have the SAS today. So SAS stands for side angle side similarity theorem. So what does this mean? If we are given two triangles, they will be similar if their angles are congruent so the angles that are included, the included angle or the angle that's in the middle between the two sides are congruent. So in this example, we have 91. Now, we don't know if this 4 and 6 are, and then this 3 and 2 are proportional to each other. So how do we, how do we test it that if they are um, similar or not? So the, the process that we're going to do or the test that we have to do is to pair up the long and the long, the long over the long and the short over the short. So let's determine first, let's look at this first triangle here. So which of these two sides is the long side? So four is the long, so I'm gonna label this as long. And then this three is the short side. So I will label this as short. And then we will do the same thing across. So let's find what is the long. The long side is 6, and then the short side is 2. So I label them long and short. Now, we are going to make a fraction out of it. So long over long, first over second. So I can go ahead and say 4 over 6. So both are long, and so I can reduce this to... Um, this is going to be 2 over 3, so that's 2 thirds. Or others would want to see this if we change this to um, decimal version. So this can be, um, in decimal version for this, would be 0 0.66, and it's going to repeat. So we can just go ahead and write 6 after that. Now the next task that we're going to do is to uh, use the short to figure out if both of these will be the same. So either of these would be correct. So let's look at the short now. So first over the second. So that is 3 over 2. So 3 divided by 2 is pretty much like 3 over 2. If we change this to decimal, this would be 1.5. So are these two fractions the same? they are not the same. Are these two decimal the same? They are not the same. So if they are, if, if we do this test and they are not the same, we go ahead and say this is not similar. So these triangles here are not similar and since they are not similar, we leave this blank. This symbol right here is the word similar. Okay, let's have the second problem right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so let's go over this. Let's see what you have. So first, we, we determine, we label first which one is the long, which one is the short. So this side right here, or this triangle, this is the long side. And this is the short side. So I'm going to use a different color for short. So that's the short side. In this problem right here, this is the short side. And this is the long side. Okay. Now the next thing that we do is to partner them up. We make a fraction. So that would be, we start with a long. So that is 18 divided by or 18 over 23. Point four. Now, if we use calculator, that would give us a 0 0.769230 So this is the uh, this is the decimal version for that. Now let's pair up the short ones. We got a 16 and 20.8. So I go ahead and say uh, again short and short, first and second. So that's 16 divided by 20.8. So we use calculator for this, and the value for this is 0 
0.07692. And they are exactly a match. This means that this two um, triangles are similar. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now, we have here the similarity statement. So, if we have WUV, so WUV. So, what happens was the, from W, so the matching parts of W is Q. I go to the, I, I will pass through the long side. So, that means I will do the same thing here because that's WUV, WUV. So, that would be the long side is 18. So, I go QSR. So, this is QSR. So, this is read as triangle WUV is similar to triangle QSR. Did you get the same answers as these two? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!